was weak. You might have damn good striking, but for whatever reason, you lost confidence in it, and it fell apart. Confidence is incredibly important. So how do we increase our confidence? Who else knows this? Who knows? What do we do to increase our? I mean, because confidence, like it's a, it's like a, it's a muscle in itself. Practice. practice. Yeah, you have to practice it. But one of the things that you have to do in order to have real confidence, because a lot of people have fake confidence. Fake confidence is when you you talk a lot. Yeah, shorty. No fake. Co no fake confidence. No fake confidence is when you talk a lot and you try to intimidate your opponent into believing that you're tough, so that they question themselves and now have, they have doubt in themselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The red what the red woman? We're picking yeah. up the red woman. Uh, we're going up to American Top Team Black Box in around the Orlando neighborhood. So it's about an hour and a half drive. So it's a journey, and she's not outside yet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I. This is how I always act. Let's <laughs> <laughs> show the fans that you put your seatbelt on when you drive. <laughs> She fights people very good. I feel like I'm your your loud translator. Shit, Ow. my bad. <laughs> um, now we're at a uh, American Top Team Black Box and. That's pretty much outside Orlando, right? Not Orlando. Yeah, cool. Thanks for the conversation, G. Um, but this is what she does every time. Anyways. Uh, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Anywho, ATC Black Box, Orlando. What? No, don't, don't give me that. Don't, <laughs> don't give me that. But. Hi, David. David's here. Hi, David. <laughs> Talking about David. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was gonna hug you. That's why. That's why. Can you see? I was gonna give you a hug. <laughs> no, see, no. That's what that was about. <laughs> I'm just grabbing something out of my car. Oh, it's, but not me. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want a hug, babe. Servants, <laughs> open the door for me. Yes, ma'am. First layer coming off. <laughs> it's getting hot, huh? First, first layer coming off. It's getting hot in here. Oh, how many layers you got on? I'm on just I got two on. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> Next. Oh, the t-shirt will come off before the jeans do. <laughs> I want to. I want to like Matthew McConaughey walk around with a t-shirt. Okay, I see and you. No t-shirt and jeans. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Florida. <laughs> or diabetes, either way. <laughs> One or the other. Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. Just hands. Go. Go. Let's go. Let's play. Let's have some fun. Just move. Just play. Keep your eyes open. It's all about awareness. We want to be able to see it. Stay in position.
have real confidence is to fail. The only way to have real confidence is to fail, is to fall down. Fall down and get back up. Fall down, get back up. You know what happens when you fall down and get back up over and over again? Now you're like, fuck it, I don't care. You know, I can go out there and do what I do. And now you know what develops after that? Confidence. Now you're like, I didn't already fail. I didn't already got beat up. It doesn't matter to me no more, so now I have confidence. And then when you have confidence, you can put all them pieces of your game together and be a good fighter. Which is why it's important that we train. And that's what we practice. We practice in this room and we fail in this room. We fail as much as we can. There was a year where I was like, a couple of years ago, I told myself, I didn't have a good year professionally. You know why? You know how I know I didn't have a good year professionally? Because I didn't fail enough. And that's how I measure my success, on how often I fail. No one fails more than I do. And I try to, because I know that when I'm failing, that I'm going for something that I want. And then what happens when you start failing a lot, you start to recognize patterns of why you're failing, and then you can say, well, don't do that no more. And then guess what happens? Then you stop failing. And then that's where confidence develops. But it only happens from failing. So don't be afraid to fail. It's going to happen regardless. But if you're going to fail, do it in here as much as you can, where it doesn't matter, where nobody's really you know, laughing at you, in a judgment-free zone. So that's important that we have judgment-free zones that allow us space to fail without feeling bad about ourselves.